Hey friends, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video, y'all. I got me so did you. <laughs> Cause I know I would cry. Cause I'm so happy to be back, y'all. It's so refreshing to be back. I'm sorry, I've been gone for like three weeks. Before I get into it, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Hey, my name is Christina. Nice to meet you to my amazing supporters. <laughs> Thank y'all for sticking with me. I love y'all so much. This is how I know we locked in for life, baby. I took two and a half years off of YouTube and y'all ain't never switch up on your girls. So even when I go on these like breaks, I'll be like, baby, it's not two and a half years and it will never be two and a half years, okay? But I definitely needed a break because not that I wasn't doing anything, but my work like outside of YouTube was so demanding. Like one week I remember, <sighs> I bought like the cookies to film and I couldn't because I was so mentally exhausted. I think I kept the cookies for like three days and I just like wasn't able to film. And then the second week I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just take me a little breather and go back the following week. And then the following week came and it was the same thing. Like work became so demanding I couldn't do it. But baby, baby, I'm back. Okay, and just know here and there, I'm gonna end up taking like breaks because my work outside of this work is like more demanding so i'm gonna have to give time energy attention to that and sometimes it will take so much out of me that i won't be able to pour into here but that's never too long where like i'm gonna be completely off like the youtube universe so my part of like the motivational video I just want to talk about like staying in love with what you do pretty much like how to stay in love and that's going to be the title of this video i know y'all probably wondering like in love i'm not talking about with a person if you choose to apply this to being in love with a person that's cool but i'm just talking about like staying in love with what you do because sometimes i know like it's so easy like to forget what you love to do and forget about what you love to do but it's important like to stay in love with what you do because i feel like it affects your happiness it affects your well-being and that could be like a hobby it could be a career i'm really more talking about from like a career standpoint like stay in love with what you do and how you stay in love with what you do is just remember like the things that you love about what you do and focus on that do that like just do it for example like working out not always my favorite thing to do right but that's one of the things like i have to like stay in love with doing because it affects my overall health it affects my confidence it affects my physical appearance like it affects a decent portion of my life so what i do like to stay in love with like working out is of course i take a ton of pictures like i love taking pictures if you know me and i always look at like my physique i always look at like the difference of when i was out of shape once upon a time and i wasn't working out and i wasn't being consistent you know so i just say like look at the results that you get when you do the things that you love and i feel like it's mentally helpful like staying in love with the things that you do like i love being on camera dang I can't take this car right now. But I love being on camera. I love being cute. I always get told that I'm so beautiful in which I know that like baby, like it's my God-given talent, you know? <laughs> but like little things like that, like I gotta dress up, put myself together, make myself look presentable and get on camera. So stay in love with what you do and how you stay in love with what you do is just remember the pros, the positive things of like what you're doing and just keep doing it and sometimes i know it's not easy because life could get in the way like things can happen but you just have to keep in the back of your mind like i'm not gonna allow anything nor anyone to get in the way of doing what i love to do and get in the way of staying in love with what i do because i know sometimes like there are people that you know they get in a relationship and they lose themselves right they forget about themselves they forget about the things they love to do they forget about the people that they love to spend time with because they get so lost and so consumed in this relationship but 
sometimes the only way like to remind yourself of like the people that you love spending time with is sometimes it's to just look back on memories, think back, reflect, and just pay attention, you know? So that is all I got for y'all. I'm excited to try these cookies. The first one is, which I thought it was perfect timing because honestly growing up, Willy Wonka was one of my favorite movies. I thought it was funny. And of course it was all about like candy, sweets and all that good stuff. So it's only right that I tried it y'all, but look at the picture on the side when I put it up, but it's just so like appealing and captivating. This week they had six different flavors. I only tried two. Y'all see that I have a box of four because I got cookies for my siblings as well. I'm only trying two flavors, but the first one, and I'm not gonna go in order. I'ma just read how I wanna read, freestyle it. So the first one, of course, is Wonka's Wildly Wonderful Red Velvety Cookie, okay? And this one says, I didn't even read it actually. Um, this is like my first time reading it. And yeah, the deets, babe, the deets is a 10 out of 10. So it says a totally scrum diddy luptious. <laughs> I love the extraness of that word. I'm definitely gonna put it on the screen, but a scrum diddy lump diddly yumptious, like scrum diddly yumptious, scrum diddly yumptious. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna be serious. A scum diddly yumptious red velvet sandwich. I'm gonna probably start saying that now. Scum diddly yumptious. <laughs> okay, scum. <laughs> okay, this is my last time saying it. A totally scum diddly yumptious red velvet sandwich with a decayed center of vanilla cream cheese frosting, rolled in rainbow candy coated chocolate chips and topped with a gold dusted W, and you know what that W stands for, winning, okay? My mama said that this one is good, actually. This is the one my sister wanted to try, so I bought it for her and my mama, and my mama tried it, and she said the frosting inside is definitely good. So we gonna see, baby, if this is really scrum diddly yumptious or if they are exaggerating, babe. Y'all. Foods that have a soft and crunchy sensation, I love them. Like, and that's definitely what this gives. So, it's at the top of my roster. The next one I'm gonna read is a mystery cookie. This one, my brother wanted to try it, so I got him this one. But it's it's a maple glazed cookie. This one is at Buckland location, but it says a cookie bursting with brown sugar flavor and drizzled with a tasty maple glaze. The one that I really wanted to get for him, but it's on the other side of town for me. And so I wasn't able to like go out my way and get it for him. But I really wanted to get him, get it for him is the French toast one. And this one is at the West Farms location. And it says, just like grandpa, Hey, Grandpa! <laughs> hey, Gramps! Hey, Sugar Daddy! It's like, no, let me stop. But it says, just like Grandpa makes a fluffy, buttery cookie topped with cinnamon egg wash, a dollop of buttercream, a sweet syrup drizzle, and a sprinkle baby of powdered sugar. That sounds amazing. Like, I really wish. I could get him to try it, but this one is really from the I'm just, I'm gonna keep eating while I'm talking. But the next one is a semi-sweet chocolate chunk. It says chocolate chip, but make it chunky. A delicious cookie filled with irresistible semi-sweet chocolate chunks and a sprinkle of flaky sea salt. I thought I knew my little brother because I thought he was a chocolate type of guy. So I was like, okay, he definitely gonna want like this cookie. Baby, he was like, no ma'am, like the lineup is too chocolatey. I'm like too chocolatey, like I could have sworn he liked chocolate, but I guess I was wrong. Maybe he just wasn't in the mood for it. I don't know, but 
Next one on the lineup is Black Forest Cake. And that one says a chilled chocolate cookie layered with tart cherry topping, fresh whipped cream, chocolate ganache, dark chocolate crawls, and a cherry. Mm. So that one gives like cherry sundae type of vibe. And then another one, my brother was trying to try this one, is the ultimate peanut butter. And it's a peanut butter cookie stuffed with peanut butter topped with a drizzle of melted peanut butter. So he was tempted to try that one, but I told him last time I tried it, I wasn't a fan because it was just too like chewy and it was too peanut buttery. It wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. So, you know, I wasn't gonna recommend it, babe. I was not. The last one, which I should be trying, but y'all, this one, I'm really digging it. Like, I can't explain it, but I'm really digging it. I mean, I really need to save room to try the other one, but I really like this one, which I'm very, very surprised because it's usually very rare that I would like red velvet, but my sister said she wanted to try it. And then when I looked at it and read it, I was like, I think I would try it too. So this one is a chocolate crumb, and it's not for a bum. <laughs> now I'm about to get a sugar rush, y'all. But hold on real fast. This one is chocolate crumb featuring Oreo. I think I've tried this one in my video before. I need some milk. Y'all ever seen that meme where it says, he needs some milk. <laughs> I don't know if that's how it sounds, but Y'all know the meme I'm talking about. Cheers to returning to YouTube after three weeks. Mm. All right, the last one, it says a rich chocolate cookie made with Oreo cookie pieces topped with smooth. <laughs> vanilla cream cheese frosting and a sprinkle of even more Oreo cookie pieces. That's so good. I'm about to rate these and give out a little more motivation. And then it's a wrap. <laughs> okay, the Willy Wonka one, maybe I'm not going to lie, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. It definitely gives like the Willy Wonka movie vibe because as I told y'all, the Willy Wonka movie was all about like chocolate, candy, sweets, flavoring, and I feel like this cookie definitely gave that like... You could taste like the chocolate little pieces around the edge. You could taste the cream cheese frosting. You could taste the red velvet cookie, which usually sometimes I never really used to like the red velvet cookie because like it would just be too chocolatey or you could taste the red dye too much. So I never used to like it and I didn't think I was going to like it, but I actually like it. I feel like Willy Wonka. <laughs> Okay, y'all, be serious, but yeah, that's that. And then the chocolate crumb one, I give it a nine out of 10. I like it, but I don't know. Like Oreo is already a cookie, so I feel like the idea wasn't as original. So I give them a nine out of 10. <laughs> oh, excuse me, y'all, I'm so sorry. And that's pretty much all I got for this part of the video. Just remember like, stay in love with what you do. I feel like love is healthy. Love is therapeutic. And like, just stay in love with what you do. And just remember what made you fall in love with whatever it is that you do. And just find a way to stay in love. Like it takes effort. It takes sacrifice sometimes, but stay in love with what you do, babe. Y'all know me, babe. 
I love YouTube. Like I love filming, I love motivating, I love inspiring. Like even off camera, although I wasn't like on YouTube for those three weeks, I was still motivating and inspiring. Like I was like in different settings, you know, like I just find myself doing it. And I was like, damn, I ain't cut the camera on in a minute, but I really love this. Like I really love to do it. So just stay in love with what you do, whether it's on camera, off camera, whether it's in the spotlight, whether it's where everybody can see it or they can't like just stay in love with what you do. And I feel like it will contribute to you being healthier mentally, emotionally. It will contribute to you being way happier and way more like satisfactory. So I'm bad. I'm excited to keep posting again. I love y'all so much. To everybody that just held it down in my absence, I appreciate y'all. And I'm just keep doing my best to like come with motivating content for you guys. So that's all I got for y'all. I'ma see y'all in the next video where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Bye.